schnell die Zeit vergeht, 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 schnell die Zeit vergeht. Wir haben uns lange nicht gesehen, deswegen ruf ich dich an. Es ist schon ziemlich verrückt, wie rasend schnell die Zeit vergeht. Wir laufen durch die Straßen bis nach draußen an den Stadtrand, teilen uns die Kippe und begreifen fast zu spät. Statt nach Kreta mal in Porto fahr ich jetzt zu dir. Eigentlich ist dort nichts. Welcome to City Speed View. Welcome to Frankfurt am Main, Germany. Our last journey in Frankfurt starts at Willy Brandt Platz with the new Opera House and the English Theater in the close neighborhood. We are crossing the main river and reaching Frankfurt Central Station via train. The Central Train Station opened on August 11, 1888 and is the most important transport hub in Germany. Originally built with 34 platforms, then reduced to 18 platforms, the main station of Frankfurt was the biggest train station in Europe since 1915. After adding two neoclassical halls in 1924 and the fully electrification in 1956, the train station has now 24 platforms with 26 tracks. Starting with construction of the B-Tunnel in 1971 for the Frankfurt's underground and suburban trains, the city has its first public escalator in 1978. The underground station was built in the cut-and-cover method, which involved the demolition of the second Northern Hall and rebuilding it after the underground stations were completed. Starting from 2002 and finishing in 2006, the roof construction was renovated. The hall construction and panels that were placed on broken windows after World War II were replaced by real windows. The Römerberg is the central heart of Frankfurt. Here and on Cathedral Hall, the first signs of human villages were found in this area. The oldest signs of human population on Frankfurt's Römerberg date back to 3000 before Christ. Today the Römerberg is the home of Frankfurt's Christmas market and other special events which numbers are limited to a few per year in respect to the inhabitants of the Römerberg. The Ratskeller survived as the only representational room of the war and several modernizations. The basement is designed in the late Gothic style. The walls are designed with scenes from traditional restaurant life of Frankfurt. Today the Ratskeller is the home of the urban canteen. To the north of the Römerberg is the Paulsplatz, another historic square that keeps the Paulskirche. Paulskirche is the most important place in Germany's history. Here the German Democratic was born and it was the place where Germany got its own constitution. In 1833 the Paulskirche became a Protestant church. We are crossing the Frankfurt Trade Fair with its major skyscrapers. Trade fairs go back over 800 years in the past, where merchants and business persons originally met at the Römer in the Middle Ages. The neighboring Festhalle is one of the major places for events like concerts or comedy shows in the city. The first Frankfurt trade fair to be documented in a decree of Emperor Frederick II that ensured merchants a safe travel to the fair dates back to the 11th of July, 1240. Since the Spring Fair in 1330, trade fairs occurred twice a year in Frankfurt.
With around about 30,000 members until 1933, Frankfurt had the biggest Jewish community after Berlin. Before the empowerment of the Nazi regime, generations of Jewish families lived in the West End area. Well-known families like the Speyers or Oppenheimers or the Nobel Prize winner Paul Ehrlich and the social psychologist Erich Fromm were located here. The West End Synagogue, erected in the beginning of the 20th century, is today the religious center of the Jewish community of Frankfurt. The synagogue was the only synagogue in Frankfurt which was not completely destroyed in the terror of the Reichspogromnacht. Nevertheless, the damage was so huge that the synagogue could not be used again. After rebuilding, the synagogue after the end of World War II and the building were inaugurated in 1950. Today, Frankfurt's Jewish community counts 7,000 members and is the biggest Jewish community in Germany. The round 5,000 hectare huge forest of Frankfurt is the biggest city forest in Germany. Frankfurt is the home of the European Central Bank and the German stock market. Three quarters of the German stock paper trade happens in Frankfurt. More than 60,000 people are working in the city's banking district. Frankfurt is the number one financial town in Germany. Frankfurt's green oasis found at the Museumsufer, rounded by a number of renovated museums and one of the sightseeing highlights of the city, the Eisener Steg. Frankfurt's people haven't long to walk to reach one of the huge relaxing zones at the Main. The Main shore was constructed as a relaxing zone. Steg connects Frankfurt's old town with the suburb Sachsenhausen, the cultural hub of the city.
the Frankfurt Cathedral, officially known as Imperial Cathedral of St. Bartholomew, is a Roman Catholic Gothic church and the home of the biggest church bell that survived the World War II in Germany. The cathedral is located on the Römerberg in central Frankfurt. Despite its common English name, it has never been a true cathedral, but is called Imperial Cathedral or simply the Dom due to its importance as former election and coronation church of the Holy Roman Empire. We are now walking up the Dom Tower to have a 360 degrees view around Frankfurt. As one of the major buildings in the history of the Roman Empire, the Dom was a symbol of national unity, especially in the 19th century. The Dom is closely linked with Frankfurt's history and the Frankfurt Old Town, as an associated role as the religious counterpart of the Royal Palace. The Alte Oper, as we see it here, is the original opera house of Frankfurt. We are moving underground to the casemates, built in 1628 on the ground of the Foundation Waisenhaus as a defense line of the city wall. Founded in the excavation in 2009 and marked as Monument of the Year in 2014, the casemates conceived by fortress builder Johann Wilhelm Dillich are a historical treasure of the city. A unique underground gallery was found, which was special for the Frankfurt city wall in the 17th century. Niederrad, a suburb designed as residential area in the 1920s, is located in the southwest of Frankfurt. The director of the urban planners was Ernst May. In 1977, the suburb was connected to the Rhein-Main urban train. Welcome to Frankfurt Airport, a major international airport. It is the main hub of the Lufthansa Group. The airport covers an area of 2,300 hectares of land and features two passenger terminals with a capacity of approximately 65 million passengers per year. A third terminal is in construction. Terminal 3 is expected to open in 2022 and will be connected by an underground high-speed train to Terminal 1 and 2. The travel time between the terminals is expected to be lower than 3 minutes. The southern side of the airport homes the Rhein-Main Air Base, which was a major air base for the United States from 1947 until 2005. After closing the air base, the property was acquired by Fraport, the operator of the airport. This is the series final of City Speed View. The whole production team says goodbye. We hope to see you again. Thank you very much for your attention and support. When the sun appeared, my God, my fears of silver melted in the light. And we saw the world with different eyes. And we sang, oh.